So here I have a clean page in my sketchbook. And I'm gonna take my ruler. I'm gonna measure over nine inches from the edge of my paper. I'm gonna make several marks so that I can make sure I have a straight line when I connect the dots. I need to find the center of this square and the fastest way to do that is to draw an X from corner to corner across the box that I just made. So now that I've found the center of my paper, I'm going to take a compass and I'm going to place the brass ring right in the middle and I'm gonna choose one of the dots that's very close to the edge of my box and I'm gonna draw a circle. This is a protractor, and I'm gonna take the protractor to divide my circle into even sections, in this case, 12 sections. So to create 12 even sections, I'm gonna make a mark every 30 degrees. Now that I've divided my circle into 30 degree sections with the protractor, I'm gonna take my ruler and place it against those marks and draw lines that go exactly through the middle of my circle. I really want to stop and take the time and make sure that my lines go through the exact center of my circle so that all of my sections will be the same size. So now I have 12 even sections in my color wheel, and I'm gonna draw a design that fits inside one of the sections. So in this case, I chose one of my initials, the letter M. I'm gonna draw an M that fits inside one of my little wedge pieces. So I think this M looks pretty good, and I want it to look the same in all of my other sections. So I'm gonna take a piece of tracing paper and lay it on top. I'm gonna to draw over my design, and I'm gonna make sure that my lines are nice and dark so that I can see them. Sometimes it's easy to forget which side of the tracing paper you're looking at, so I like to write the word front on it. So I flipped my tracing paper over and now I'm shading in the back side, not the side that I drew on, with my pencil to put a bunch of graphite down. And now I flip it back over so the front is up and I lay it down inside the next section and I just draw over my lines again and I press down really hard with my pencil and it will transfer my drawing. I'll repeat this step for each of my other segments and I'll end up with an M that looks exactly the same in all 12 of my color wheel sections. So now that I've traced my M into all of my sections, I'm gonna take a pair of scissors and I'm gonna cut my sketch out of my sketchbook so that I can transfer it onto my canvas panel. Here's my canvas panel, and I wanna make sure before I get started that I flip it over and take a Sharpie and put my first and last name on my project since there'll be 120 of them floating around in this classroom. I wanna make sure I can always find mine. I'm going to use something called carbon paper to transfer my design onto my canvas panel. I wanna make sure that the dark side is down and it's okay if it has lots of stray marks on it because it can be used lots of times before it has to be thrown away. So I'm gonna put my sketch on top of my carbon paper and I wanna make sure that my sketch is close to the middle of my canvas panel before I start tracing it. I'll take a piece of tape and tape it in place so that my design can't move. And then I just take my pencil and draw on top of my design and press down really hard so that my lines transfer to the canvas panel. I'll use a ruler to make sure that my straight lines remain straight 
and I can check my progress by just lifting up the carbon paper in the sketch and then placing it back down and continuing my lines. I can also place my compass back at the center of my paper and use the compass to draw my circle again to make sure that it's perfect on my canvas board. The last step in getting ready to paint next class is to take my colored pencils and to lightly color in or write in the name of the color on my canvas board so that when I go to paint, I know exactly where my colors are going. I wanna make sure that I do this in colored pencil or when I go to paint over words that I've written in graphite, the graphite will show through my paint and that will make me really unhappy. So I'm going to make sure that I'm coloring or labeling in colored pencil so that it will blend in with the paint later on my project. 